What's going on YouTube and welcome to Digital Perspective, I'm Khaled and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to create a really cool simple calendar picker inside of Adobe XD. Now if you're ready be sure to hit a like button and subscribe and turn that notification bell on if you haven't already and let's just roll the intro. So what's up guys so now let's just get into the Mac and just show you exactly what it is that we're trying to create. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go ahead and start building out my component right. So I'm just going to grab a rectangle and just start sizing out the the initial uh, kind of section for the UI element and this is basically going to be what the calendar picker text is going to say. So select, select date drag that out here it's a bit small to be fair so let's say 30 oh that's way too big uh bring that in there i don't like that let's, let's say let's say 25 perfect and then i'm gonna drag and copy that and then i'm gonna write chevron right uh, down actually because it needs to be a down selection and we're going to use the font awesome icon pack solid version and drag that in there perfect i don't let me change the border on this make it two and let's go for this border color be sure to pause the video if you want to see all the colors that i've saved swatches there i'm gonna select both of these i'm not align them horizontally perfect now this is our defaults uh default layout right so i'm going to click on a component so this is the default state now we want to make a new state and this is going to be the toggle state we don't want to hover we want to toggle it because otherwise it would just look horrible if you hover it. Um, I'm going to select the background. I'm going to command drag, uh, option drag it so that we have a duplication. Let's make this about, I don't know, 500. Perfect. And remove, double click on that, remove the border. I want to drop shadow on this one. Blur it out to about 56 and just push it down on the Y axis about 223. Uh, next, we want to add the text so the month so it's in november 2021 let's just go back to our san francisco font perhaps make that 30 and let's go for medium perfect drag that in and then what we want to do is we want to do the chevrons again but this time we want to do a right and left one and this is so that when people want to select it to go to different months, then obviously they can. Size is down to about 25. Push it there. And then say Chevron left. Perfect. I might bring that in a little bit more. Awesome. Uh, what else? So now we need to do the, the days of the week, right? So let's just do M for Monday. Let's probably make that 10 pixels less so it's 20 pixels in total we're going to hit repeat grid and i need seven of those so it's about there and then just double click on each one and just fill it in t tuesday double click wednesday thursday friday friday saturday oops, saturday and sunday perfect now once that's done we need to create the days of the week right the actual number so but what we want to do for that one is we want to create them in different elements right so we want to have different components for each one so i want to show you what i mean by that grab a text let's pick the number 31 because 31 is obviously the highest number of days in a week that we can get uh so that's on a regular state then we have another state maybe this will be our default state or the inactive inactive state i should say and then the next one we'll do a hover version now again if i'm going too fast be sure to pause the video i would recommend just so that you can follow through but ideally i just want to show you guys how quick and easy it is uh let's make that blue or light blue and then this dark blue and then the third element which is obviously our active state make that into dark blue and basically invert the colors but at the same time i'm going to duplicate the circle reduce its size and i want it to be an object blur turn the shadow turn the object blur down and put that below so you have this nice little glow underneath that this is the four elements that i want to create inside of one right so i'm going to grab the one with which has the most which is the, obviously the active state i'm going to zoom into that 
and I'm going to create that as a component. So once, oh, double check one thing. Actually, double click on the, the text layer. Make sure it's it is center or justified, because otherwise, when you write certain numbers, it might not just be a center aligned kind of thing. Um, so, so that's so. This is the default state. So for the default state, we know that we want to have. Um, we're going to make that background white. We don't want to have the object blur at the back. We want to have the date. Next one, we're going to have the inactive state, which is basically the same thing. It's just the color of the text is different. Then we want to have the the hover state. And for the hover state, we want to change the background to light blue and the other one a more saturated blue. And then last but not least, we want to have a toggle state. And in the toggle state, it's very simple. We just invert everything. And then we bring back our shadow, which, which we can copy from either here or we can just recreate it. So essentially what you have, you have all the different states there, right? Now, the only thing, unfortunately, with XD, unlike Figma, which I personally do enjoy, is that when I change the number for any of the states, it sometimes doesn't actually update it on the other one. So if I did that, so if I now click on that and I go to this, the, the state, you can see all of it's one, right? But now if I do, let's say, where is it? If I duplicate, if I do the repeat grid, and I bring it out, so this is now a second one. If I do two, what you'll notice, it's, it's a bit of a hassle, but by selecting that, click on the hover, you can see it goes back to one, right? Now Figma handles this flawlessly. Unfortunately, XD doesn't, right? So the best, the best thing, the best way to solve this issue, ideally, would be to then ungroup them, and then set change the text, right? Oh, change the text, but you still have to unfortunately go back into state two, change the text, and change the text, go back to state three. So you can see how this is very, very time consuming. This itself will take us longer to do uh, a lot. But however, when, when all said and done, it does work out the way we want it to, um, which is obviously what we need, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete that. Before I speed the video up, I'm just gonna put the, the days of the week here. Uh, repeat grid and stretch Q7. Just need one more. Push that there. Perfect. And then we need four weeks, which is one, two, three, four. Perfect. And then before we do anything else, let's maybe add a button here. Make a fully round. We we'll call this a reset. And then copy that, drag it to this side, and then we'll call this select. Now, since this is uh, an action button, we need to make sure that we follow the same rules as we did for the um, the numbers. So we reduce that, object blur, push that into the back a little bit. Give it a little bit more blur. And this is personally what I prefer to do rather than selecting a drop shadow. Uh, you have much more control over the shadows this way. With this one, I just want to maybe make it into a, a gray button and a white text. Perfect, right? So now that that's essentially more or less done, what we need to do, and I'm going to fast forward this next bit, is I'm going to go ahead and to do that number change, as I said, that I'll do. Um, don't need this anymore actually I'll do that so i'm going to fast forward it and i'm going to show you what it is after the, uh, i've done that right so i fast forwarded the video and, and obviously you can see here now i've added all the numbers from 29 all the way down to 2 so 29 30 31st and then first all the way down to 30th and then one two um now one thing i haven't done is unfortunately this is not inside the um the actual hover over so i'm going to uh, command x that's to cut it uh, just unlock that. So I'm going to go back into this and I'm going to paste it in here so that it, it is actually part of the hover over feature. Now, here's what I was explaining to you about earlier on. So what we want to do is we need to select 
row 29, 30, 30, 31st, 1st and 2nd. And these will all be our inactive states, right? So if I go there and that'll be state 2, click on that, state 2. Do the same thing with this one, state two, and state two. So obviously from first to thirtieth is everything that's inside of um, the calendar. Now, what needs to happen is obviously once we toggle the animation, uh, if we go to prototype now, uh, click on default state. Now the default state, the trigger is tap. Obviously we can do hover over as well if we wanted to. And once that happens, we want to auto animate three seconds, about 0.8 seconds, I say. And I want it to ease in and ease out is fine. Ease in and out, yeah, ease in and out. So essentially what that'll do is once it, it plays it. Um, so really, there you have it, right? I mean, unfortunately, if we wanted to do the hover down animation, we'd have to probably make it into another um, prototype artboard, which, which obviously we don't want to do. We just wanted to make sure that we saw how to do this. Uh, and then you can see if I hover over any of the dates there, you can see there it works. And if I click on that, you know, if I click on the date, click on it, it will see highlights. Obviously, ideally, you don't want to be able to click on multiple dates, which is obviously not the, the situation here, but you can see that. And then obviously the select button would close that if we needed to. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, I will try and link the file into the description down below. And But yeah, please to be sure to make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn that notification bell on and like the video. And what we'll also do is we'll also put some more videos up in the end cards there and there. And yeah, I guess until the next video, I'm Khalid and I'll see you then. Peace.